I launched bookmarks. If you become a patron from now until September 16th, you will receive one of these in the mail along with a personalized letter from me. If you become a patron on any of the tiers, I have a whole video explaining. What's up friends? Welcome back to another video and welcome if you're new here. My name's Alex. This is my channel Pucks and Paperbacks where I turn YouTube trends bookish. I make themed reading vlogs and I also make monthly writing vlogs and in July I did some weekly Camp NaNoWriMo vlogs and that playlist will be up here if you would like to watch them. Today I'm doing the history of your work in progress tag created by Katie Ann Wrights and the link to her video will be down below. Let's get started. I'll answer the questions as I go but I'm currently revising my hockey book and that is what I'll be talking about while answering these questions. The first question is give a brief summary or tagline for your work in progress. It's about a 17 year old trans boy named Gabe who is injured at the beginning of the season and that determines what his junior year is going to be like and he is forced to do a school project with a girl that he despises. So it's an enemies to lovers with hockey and own voices trans rep and I love this book so much. Next is when did you get the idea for your current work in progress? I talk about this in my video where I talk about winning NaNoWriMo for the first time. The first ever time that I did NaNoWriMo I won and it was with this book. I wrote 50,000 words in November of my senior year of college and I got the idea one night. I still cannot really remember how I got it. I was working on a meet cute story and it just was not working for me and I think one night I just had a dream and I was like okay I guess I'm gonna write a hockey book so that's just what happened. <laughs> Next is what were the first elements you came up with an idea a dream character image. I come up with plot first but I also come up with character so I could have an idea and then like maybe an hour later I already know who the main character is like I have their name everything so I definitely come up with the idea first and then just brainstorm and put my all into the story. Number four is what has remained the same in your story? Well I'm only on my second draft of this book so a lot is going to change but I have changed a lot up like him getting injured was not even in the picture until I just thought it would work better and then I started looking up hockey injuries and scarred myself for life. <laughs> but I have changed a lot of things like as I'm revising there's a lot that I have to take out that is sad but there are a lot of fun elements actually being added now. Currently I had a Thanksgiving scene that I'm going to turn into a surprise party for his grandmother. So <laughs> I know that this question wasn't what you have changed but there is some things that are say staying the same but there's also a lot of ideas that I'm reworking and I am just crafting this into a better story. Okay well the next question was what changed in your story and why and a lot of things are changing and so I kind of just answered that question already but there's a lot of things changing. I am just realizing what needs to be fixed and there is a lot but I'm really having a lot of fun revising. And I do talk about that in my writing vlog coming on Saturday. <laughs> Next, have you started drafting yet? If so, how much have you written? How many drafts? If not, what stage of the process are you in? I am on my second draft and I am currently revising and it's a lot of fun. I'm really enjoying it. I did a reread and then I went in and I have a whole vlog where I do that. Next is how did you know who would tell the story? I just knew that I wanted to have a trans boy and Gabe just came to mind and I really love his character and I can't wait for everyone to hopefully be able to read him sometime soon or just in the next couple years something like that because I really want this book to be published. Next is what POV and tense is it written in or has it changed over time? I write in third person. I am not comfortable writing first person. It's really difficult for me so I just stick to third. I think that's just like a fan fiction writer thing because as a fanfic writer I have been since like probably like 2014 or like maybe like 
earlier than that, I am so used to just writing in third person that I just cannot write in first person. Maybe I will one day, but for now it is just third person. Next is, do you have a title for your story and when did you come up with it? I actually have a whole vlog where I actually talk about getting my title. So go and watch my playlist to learn more, but my book is called Breaking the Ice and I thought that I should incorporate hockey but also incorporate the enemies to lovers aspect. So I just thought Breaking the Ice was so perfect. And I also am giving myself a note to incorporate the title into the book. And I think that that will be so good. And last is how did you know you were ready to tell this story? I wrote it during NaNoWriMo <laughs> and I, was like I need something else. I can't do the buff story. I don't like it. I need something different and Gabe popped into my head or popped into my dreams and I just started going with him and he is going to grow very much. Um, and so yeah, that is the tag. I'm actually going to tag my friend Brittany and books because she has not done it yet. So Brittany, you're tagged and whoever else would like to do it, you're tagged. I really like this tag. I think that it's a little bit easier for me because I am only on a second draft. Thank you all for watching. Hit subscribe if you want to see more of my writing content and you can see the writing playlist and just learn all about my writing process. I have some vlogs for my high school musical retelling and for Breaking the Ice. So I will see you all on Saturday with my August writing vlog. I hope you're all having a great day and staying safe and I will see you on Saturday. Bye.